Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, wherever you may be. It's like in Warlord. The stash, ladies and gentlemen. Got a little video for you today. Something called Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whip. So, some of you have may seen my video on Citadel of the Wind. And it's a great program. It's a great website. I've used it many a time. I've, I've sent you guys screenshots from it. I've done all sorts of wonderful things with it. However, unfortunately, whoever runs that, well, they haven't updated it. So, uh, we now have something called CoolWhip.com where you can do your build. It's got all the NFTs. It's got all the hidden stuff in the game. Some, or some of the hidden stuff. Some hidden stuff. But yeah, it's really cool. And we're going to go over it right now. So, I hope you will allow me to show you some cool whip. Some cool whip. So, same concept as before. We have an HTML website based. How do you plan out your town star build? Now, we don't have live action, but it's okay. We're going to make it work. So, I'm going to make me a little bit bigger. You know, I'm feeling a little bit a little bit pretty today. How y'all like that? How y'all like me make it? I'm a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger now. So, what I have right here in front of me looks very similar if you've ever used Citadel of the Wind. On our top left-hand corner, we've got our main menu icons that you see in the game. So if you were to click on the store button, you would see this button, this button, this button, this button, or this button. That is our farm, that is our ranch, that is our terrain, that is our industrial, and that is our trade. And then we also have to the far right side the Gala logo, which symbolizes any of the NFTs that you have in the game. Whether it's a placeable NFT or a skin. When you click on an empty square in Townstar, that little icon appears along with the uh, shop icon. So, very simple, very straightforward. As you can see here, I've already got, got something here. So, we'll talk about that real quick. This is my base model. Um, this is how I do my gas production. So, I've got some paved roads, some unpaved roads, some oil pumps, fuel tank, warehouse, lumber mill, uh, two power plants, two refineries. I'm not going to go into details on that, but let's clear the map. So let's start with that. Let's say I want to clear the map. You can see right here is a button called clear. Right here. Right here. Button called clear. Go figure. It uh, it cleared. I mean, I know. I know. That's shocking, but it cleared. So um, I'm trying to put the tail back on for you guys. There we go. You guys like it when I have the pointer trail. There we go. All right. So here we have our uh, Nort. So we'll go into that in another video. I'm not going to go into detail on that right now. But let's say you're doing the square that I'm doing, which is a forest. So I'm going to come right here. See our menu right here in the middle. I'm going to click Forest. And this is the default forest north layout. Um, we'll go into the other layouts another time, like I said. But you have the option to change your layout and... That way you know what you're starting with. Now, let's say you already know what you're starting with and you just want a blank slate. You come right here to the bottom where it says empty, and boom, it clears everything off for you. Uh, if you would like an empty planes, you come to planes, and then you drop down and click empty, and it'll clear it out and leave you with the planes. If you want an empty desert, same thing. Click on desert, and then drop down once again and click on empty, and it leaves you with the desert little logos the little pictures so we're gonna go back to forest uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clear this out because if you don't use the empty function you're gonna have to come right here and click your little bomb and come here and delete things so that just takes time we don't want to have to do that your other option is if you click on something let's say we'll click on the logger house you click on it and then click on it again it'll disappear so you can do that which does the same function as the bomb does but the double the clicks so we have the bomb to remove everything you can also place and unplace an item which would clear the square as well but for our sake we're gonna go ahead and empty it now you see these little bars right here right these all symbolize the four sides of your square the first click brings you to the river 
Notice how it's a dark blue, not a light blue. Now, to prove to you that it's a river, you see right here below start, we've got overlay, and we're going to go to water. So that's passive water, not passive water drum or passive water barrel, passive water. So you can see here, if I put my mouse over, you guys can't see it in the uh, video, unfortunately, but it'll say water five. So this is a river, which gives me five passive water. Now, how do I know it's a river? Because that's what rivers do. Now, if I were to click every side and turn it into a river, you now see that I've got this lovely blue matrix showing me all the water that I'm getting passively from the river. We're going to change it to uh, salty, which is what oceans provide. You see how that goes away. If I change it to shady, that goes away. Energy goes away, etc., etc. So right now we're going to put it back on water. As you can see, there's our water. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on salty because what we're going to do next, the next click for you is ocean. So I'm going to click. Boom. Now I've got the ocean side right here. See how it's a lighter blue? That provides passive saltiness. It does not provide passive water. For all of you that get confused with that, the ocean does not provide passive water. It provides passive saltiness, which is only useful for two things. One, a sand mine being in a green timer and your brine fields being in a green timer. So, as you can see here, I've made my saltiness all the way around. Uh, while we we're talking about that, let's go ahead and place a brine field. Okay. And place another brine field, brine field. And we'll also go ahead and place a sand mine. Boom. 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 Okay. So now... What this lets you do is it shows you whether these will be in a green timer or not. So if I were to hover over this, oh, I did I did it wrong. Whoopsies. Okay, so this is this happens a lot. All right, we're gonna click on the bomb and then we're gonna unclick the bomb. So now there's nothing on my cursor. So if I left click on this, it's gonna select it. It's gonna show me that I'm in a green timer. See how it's green? Okay. Same thing here. I'm going to click on this. I'm in a green. Now, this doesn't have any water, and this doesn't have any power. So that's why it's not going to work. But for the sake of, uh, sake of our exercise here, we're going to make sure that it's working. That way we know for sure it's going to work. Now, everything has everything it needs. Boom. Okay. So now, click on that and click that when I click on this nuclear power plant boom I'm in the green sand mine in the green okay see how it's showing me I got three of two energy it's everything it needs so if I come here to the brine I'm missing water so I'm gonna go ahead and put another water here boom click click and click on that brine field I'm in the green I got the three of three water I need so it tells you what these things need to function properly in this case, I need three of three water. In the case of the sand mine, I need two energy. So, we're going to go back and we're going to empty this bad boy out. Empty. All right, so we talked about oceans. We talked about saltiness from the ocean. And next, we're going to talk about mountains. Mountains are the red. So, i got to click three times to get to that. So, they produce shade. So, as you can see here, a very similar matrix to the water because a mountain does provide five shade or five squares worth of shade, I should say. So, as you can see here, I've got all sorts of shade. Okay? So, that's it. Simple, 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 simple. Now, I'm going to go ahead and turn these back to normal. And everything you see here is what you would see in the game with a couple things that aren't in the game right now. Hint, hint, hint. I.e. this big rig. This transport truck. It's not in the game yet. Secrets. We've got all of our NFTs. We've got a Vox. We've got a Tesla coil. We've got the storage silo. We've got all these wonderful things, and they show all up in the game. Okay? Barter Station's not in the game yet, I don't think. Or maybe it is. I don't know. I haven't seen it. But I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. So you can place whatever you want. You see how there's a red ring around here? That red ring means it's missing something. So in most cases on these NFTs, you need to place them with a road and that'll get rid of the red ring. When you see the red ring that means that the that the item is not it's missing something that it needs to be properly set up. Okay? 
So for instance, if I put a bunch of roads down like this, and then I tried to place a power plant, power plant and refineries need a paved road, not a dirt road. So if I were to place that power plant here, you see how it has a red ring around it? That means it's missing something, right? So I would know that I need to go put a paved road, and it's still red, which means I'm missing something else, which in this case is a water pump or passive water drums. But the thing with power plants is it has to have a water drum to be placed. So I know this is like crazy. I'm going all over the place. But if you've used Citadel before, this is very familiar to you. Uh, it's just updated with all the new things that we need it to be updated with. So I wanted you guys to see it. I'm going to start using this. It, the, the code works the same way. So this is my layout, right? This is my completed build. You come right here in this bottom left-hand corner. You have this little drop, this little box. You're going to control A to select all. You're going to control C to copy it. And then if I were to click on a new tab, you see I pasted all that code. So that code right there, that's the same code that Citadel of the Wind uses. So any of my previous videos you've seen where it has a Citadel of the Wind code, you can copy and then paste that into here. Click load and it's going to pull it up. So we'll come to this tab, right? I'm going to control A to copy, control C, excuse me, control A to select all, control C to copy. And then I'm going to come back over here and then I'm going to left click in here, control A to select everything, control V to paste. And then I'm going to click load. Now watch. Boom. Now it's what I had over there. So same concept as the Citadel video. I don't want to go into too many details because I've already gone over all this. If you guys want me to go completely break it all down, I will. Let me know. I'll do a different video. But I just wanted to introduce the new Citadel of the Wind, which is Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Cool Whippy Whippy Whip. All right. So that's it. CoolWhip.com is our new Citadel of the Wind with all the updated things that we needed Citadel of the Wind to have updated in them. Um, if you got any questions, leave them down below. Come join me in the Discord. If you'd like to support me, I do have a Patreon. I appreciate you regardless for watching. Anything else you need from me, let me know. Ask your questions. DM me. I'll be here. I am Like a Warlord. The Stash. I love you all. Have a good night. And I'll see you in my next video, which should be, 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 be tomorrow. Tomorrow's the next video. Oh, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it. I want to shout out my Patreons. My patrons, my Patreons from Patreon. My patrons from Patreon. Thank you very much for all of your support. I really appreciate it. Um, this is uh, my first end video. So we're going to use this from now on. Um, I'll get it better. Maybe eventually if we got more, I'll scroll or something. I don't know. i got to figure it out. But thank you all. Thank you for your support. I appreciate it. Thank you all. Uh, the link for Patreon is below. Um, also, any any way you guys to feel like supporting me, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you. This is going to uh, help me keep making content that uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. So, thank you. I love you.